Many thanks for staying with us. And uh, let's talk about today in history. Now, on, on this particular date, uh, Bill Clinton signs a Digital Millennium Copyright Act into law. And that happened in 1998. Quite interesting. It's actually a very serious conversation that third world countries uh, have not been able to have. And even if they do, uh, what is the level of implementation? Now, on, in 1998, October 28, to be precise, uh, you, the Digital Millennium Copyright Act uh, was actually signed or into law. Uh, that implements two treaties. You have the 1998 United States Copyright Law and the 1996 Treaty of the World Intellectual Properties Organization. Uh, it therefore criminalizes uh, production and dissemination of technology devices or services intended to circumvent measures that control access to copyright works commonly known as digital rights management, uh, and that's it. It also criminalizes the act of circumventing the access control, whether or not there is an actual infringement of copyright itself. It was passed on October the 12th, and in 1998, uh, you also have an agreement or a vote in the United States Senate, and it was signed into law by uh, the then President Bill Clinton on October the 28th, in 1998. Now also, some groups urge for stronger copyright enforcement with other sort more relaxing, uh, you know, so, some sort of relaxation in the rules. And in addition at the time, you also have the fact that the Digital Millennium Copyright Act uh, heightens the penalty for copyright infringement on the internet. I think that it's very important that we constantly protect, uh, you know, intellectual property because it takes a lot of work uh, across the globe. So on this particular day, it would be for me, the take home would be that uh, we should ensure that intellectual property across whether in Nigeria, in the continent, across board should be protected and government is and should be uh, saddled with that responsibility to ensure that there are policies and laws to protect uh, those who have intellectual properties. Uh, that's it, we step on the brakes now. When we return at eight o'clock, we will have the conversation uh, with a spokesperson of the Pandev as regards their demands, demanding uh, a 50% increase from 13% derivation. Please stick around, we'll be right back.